took our teams on a journey of discovery. We had to ensure our local population got every chance to feed into the plan. We designed and implemented six engagement strategies, and many of you actually were a part of them. You may have seen them over social media in the local papers, and we had a lot of fun. My personal favorite, like that of Elijah's, was the Puana Expo, and only because I got to meet many of you and actually many of our communities across our towns both here and in up in Tomarinui communities, and we hope that you'll see that as you start to become more familiar with the plan. The government is looking to resetting and rebuilding tourism on a sustainable and regenerative model. Regenerative tourism is about giving back and, to, and giving back more to people and places than it takes. It actively enriches our communities and helps protect and restore the environment, which is of course all reflected in, in Tahia or Buana. So you heard um, Aidan talking about the Pokaka Eco Sanctuary. So this is one, we've got 24 projects in this plan. Um, I'm not going to talk about 24 of them with you. Some are shovel ready, what the um, government likes to call shovel ready. Uh, one is the Pokaka Eco Sanctuary. A lot of good work's been done on it. Feasibility has been done on it. It's an incredible piece of money that is really just to be funded. So um, that's pretty fantastic. And then part of that also ensuing with the Pokaka Eco Sanctuary is the Tahangaru Cycle Trail, which is another part of the mountains to see in the Aratuhono, about extending that, that and joining up the trail. So again, that's something that's sitting there ready to go. Um, council are backing it, we're backing it, the plan's backing it. Papaliki Incorporation here today, um, their Papaliki Hub is another one. Um, people in the room have been down, um, down to Papaliki, seeing what they're trying to do. Uh, it looks incredible. The applications are in, it's a shovel ready product um, and will be amazing for people to Papaliki, the visitors to Papaliki, and joining Rongonui and Papaliki and 
to do healing through the hour. And the mauna is the most treasured thing because that's where life begins. And that's where this plan has developed around building a place where we need to sustain our, where we work, where we live, where we play, but also to try out is the most important thing. So I really, really um, love this plan, but like I said in the video, plans are all well and good. We've had so many hui, we've had so many interviews, we've been videoed, we've been Māori have been ripped to pieces enough, there's enough statistics for to know for a long time what needs to be done. This is a part of what could be done. Let's get on with it, like Uncle Archie said. Just get on with the work. Just get on with it. We have to do it. We can only all do it together. It's got to stop being about money. It's got to be about whenua. It's got to be about everything to tie out. Can I just tell you that uh, from the Ruby District Council, Point of view, and we have members here, both our elected members and members of our community boards. We share the same vision, we share the same aspirations and challenges. And for, 